Hello everyone, Indigo Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Chows of Cold Still. So, I was just informed that there's six games behind this one. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a lot of games. And this game is apparently a another entry, okay, another way to to enter the world of Trails of Cold Steel. Um, now I didn't look this up, but... Mid -August. Okay, I'm let go. <laughs> it was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. Oh, okay, cool. I can stop it right here for a moment. Let me just say a few things. Um, wow. They're just gonna keep walking forever, huh? I'm gonna keep up with this. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before the school year resumed. That's it? Damn. Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes 1 and 2 spent summer away from Trista. What do you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, classes 3 through 5 were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of class 7 and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students. It's only five days vacation. Like, this, it's only five days. It's not very long. Ugh, it's so hot. I'm dying in here. I'm sick of this heat already. Talking about it, it's just making me feel even hotter. The Academy should install an orbital air conditioner. At least then it'd be a little easier to cope. An orbital air conditioner? What is that? Well, it's a device that blows out cool air to help regulate a room's temperature. Maybe it'd help if you think of it as the opposite of a stove. Wow, that's some kind of wizardry. I've heard of them, but aren't they supposed to be prohibitively expensive? Only the most modern buildings seem to be able to afford them. Do you have one in your house? Well, there's one in the Reinfurt Company's corporate headquarters, yeah. It'd be nice if my mother could spare one, you know, for the academy she sits on the board of directors for. <laughs> Seems a bit much to hope for. This is a military academy, so I doubt we can expect to be indulged quite that much. Still, a machine to help us keep cool in the summer? Whoever first invented that should get a medal. I'll admit, the summer heat here is more difficult to cope with than in Le Graham. But as long as I think of it as another part of my training, it doesn't bother me all that much. Berea Hard gets similar summer heat waves, but there's usually a breeze blowing in from the canyon at this time of year. That does make summers a bit easier to manage. My hometown's up in the mountains, so it's pretty cool even around this time of year. Actually, now that you mention it, I would have thought you three would go back home for the summer, being nobles and all. You were given permission, weren't you? If everyone else was going home, I would have considered it, but in the end, I decided against it. I mean, it wasn't all that long ago that I got to see Elise. Maybe next year. I came here to train. Until I feel like I've made significant progress, I have no intention of returning home. Some of you saw my father's mansion. Do you think I'd go back to a place like that willingly? I'd much rather stay here and take my chances with heatstroke. <laughs> You're really that uncomfortable at home, huh? Still, hot as it is, there's a lot coming. There's a lot going on right now. I doubt all the people headed to that conference at the end of the month have much time to be worrying about the heat. You make a good point. You're talking about the West Zemiria Trade Conference, right? That's the one. There's never been an international conference on that scale before, at least not in modern times. Mayor Dieter Kreuz, who also happens to be the International Bank of Crossbow CEO, was the, f was the one who first pr proposed it. There you go. I've heard that Prince Oliver will be attending on behalf of His Majesty the Emperor. And Chancellor Osborne is supposed to be attending too. Ah, uh, we know that guy. 
It seems crazy to think we met them both just a few weeks ago. The Chancellor in particular was a pretty intimidating figure. Seemed like a big scary monster. He doesn't seem that scary to me, he just looks handsome. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard he served in the Imperial Army before becoming a politician. Then 11 years ago, His Majesty entrusted him with the position of Chancellor. Supposedly, a full 70% of the Imperial Army is under his jurisdiction. His real fame comes from establishing most of the nation's railway networks centered on the, on the capital. Though he's also been responsible for annexing several smaller countries and independent states around Erebonia. I believe those all took place without any bloodshed though, at least as far as all as I'm aware. <laughs> I wouldn't put too much stock in what he's selling. Military spending in this country has increased exponentially since he took up his position as Chancellor. Um, sounds like America to me, doesn't it guys? Alright. <laughs> and that's only possible thanks to the tax revenue he gleans from the people of Heimdall in those annexed nations. Jeez. Well, he was the one who ordered the construction of those two railway guns they've got pointed at Crossbell too. At one point, Erebonia was on the verge of a full-scale war with Cal Calvar because of those things. Oh yeah, I heard that it was actually Liberal that proposed a way to avoid an armed conflict. Liberal again. Hmm. They ended up signing the non-aggression pact, right? Yeah, though as I'm sure you've noticed, there's still quite a bit of tension between the two countries. I wouldn't be surprised if the issue reared its head again during the trade conference. Chancellor Osborne's been a really popular figure in the capital, though popular enough that he seems to have a group of terrorists after him. He does seem to be the Imperial, Imperial Liberation Front's main target, doesn't he? You know, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the di dictator and all that. Indeed, they seem to harbor a deep-seated grudge against him. Oh, so that's who they're talking about? I didn't know that. Their anger seemed a bit unusual in his intensity, didn't it? He does seem like the type who'd make a lot of enemies, especially with a face like that. Well, I'd rather not speak ill, speak ill of my father, my father's close ally, but... what What's wrong with his face? Is, is this supposed to be like hardcore face? Because he just looks very handsome. <laughs> like, there's not a scar or anything, like, just look at the face. <laughs> Come to think of it, isn't the instructor awfully late? It's well past time for home to start. True, it should have started about 10 minutes ago, actually. <sighs> I swear that woman... She'd better not be sleeping off in another hangover back at the dormitory. Wouldn't put it past her. I wish I could say there's no way our upstanding instructor would do that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Excuse me. I'll have you know I did no such thing. Today. I'm glad her part was voice acting because I'm not good with doing her voice. <laughs> instructor? It's too high pitched for me. Good morning, instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today! Okay. <laughs> new classmate time. Because <laughs> we need more what? characters. We, there's not enough characters, we need more. A transfer student at this time of Who year? Who could it be? S seriously? What if, what if it's the guy who's in the mask and we won't know it until like three games later or something? <laughs> All right, come on in. Righto. Oh, oh my God, is it Crow? Like it can't be Crow. Holy shit! He's okay. He's not even a new character. Okay, we've huh? seen him already. Crow. But but isn't he a second year student? Oh man, what? Why is he in this class now? I mean, I'm not upset, but did that mean he failed a year or some shit? I'm Crow Armbrust. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of Class 7. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. What? What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. <sighs> I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. I knew it! He failed some classes! Damn it! <laughs> I was like, I hope this is because he failed it. Then he came crying to me in a panic like, Oh! Oh, me instructor Sarah! They're not gonna let me graduate! 
so as a special exception, he's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. Oh man, come on guys. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. I'm sure he would have put a spin on it, too. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. That's rich coming from Fee, guys. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else too? Huh? <gasps> is there a new- Okay, <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Are you serious? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. <gasps> Is that Toa? No, I don't know who this is. <laughs> oh, is that the same girl from before on the on the mission field study and and Gaius's hometown? I don't know. What? You must be joking. Oh, it is her! Yay! So she's around her age? Aren't you? You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers! Long time. Wait, I thought she was part of the Railway Military Police Special Unit... I don't know. But I see a couple of you I don't know, so I guess I better introduce myself. Million. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. <laughs> and this here is Eric Gitlam. But we'll just call him Lammy for short. <laughs> okay. What the hell is that?! Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's Fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's gonna get chewed out for it. Boo! Fine. <laughs> Anyway, nice to meet you guys. Oh my gosh, are we gonna be like? I really wanted her to be <laughs> friends with us, so this is cool. I like that. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding, please. I really wish I could. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months. So it's just three months left, huh? We're just skipping days, all right. Three days went by. At first, no one was sure what to make a crow armbreast and intelligence division agent Milliam Orion's sudden transfer into class seven. So yeah, she's part of the intelligence division. Yeah, but within a matter of days, it almost felt like they'd been there all along. I'm sure none of you need to be reminded that it was none other than Emperor Dracul who ended the War of the Lions. But did you know that the historical records tell us he had amazingly few soldiers under his command? Initially, his allies numbered only a few confidants and several warriors from Nord. And while supporters rallied to him in each region, his ranks still couldn't hope to compare to the other princesses' armies. Nonetheless, they continued to advance, liberating region after region, and after half a year of bloody battles, Prince Dracul's met some perhaps his most well-known supporter, Milliam, right? Would you happen to know the historical figure to whom I'm referring? Sure do! Lian Sandlot. Okay, great, because I don't know the fuck who he was. Also known as Lance Maiden. Oh, right you are. Well done. Sandlot was the daughter of a count who ruled over a remote region, and accounts tell us she showed great martial skill from a young age. In particular, her skill with the lance was unparalleled. No records exist of her ever being bested in combat. Wow, okay. The Lance Maiden also had a group of mighty warriors under her command, who fought alongside her in battle. Interesting. Perhaps you'd like to eliminate us to 
as as to the name of this famous band, Reen. Oh my god, I fucking please don't ask Reen just know what it is, because I don't Hmm, the group of mighty warriors led by the Lance Maiden. That's the Eisenritter? Stallritter? Growls Ritter. I like this first one. The Eisenritter, known as the Iron Knights. Oh, cool. That sounds... Is that right? <laughs> they were a band of knights said to be able to charge across the battlefield like lightning, cutting down all in their path. <laughs> Crow is already asleep. Correct! You've done your homework! The Wandering Prince met the Lance Maiden one day during a prolonged conflict in a remote region of the country. How the fuck did I get that right? Or is there no wrong answer? I don't know. After recognizing each other as reliable and trustworthy, they pledged to fight together under a united banner. With the Lance Maiden and her knights bolstering his ranks, Draco's army swept through one region after another. In just a year, he was able to defeat the other princes and free the imperial capital Heimdall. As an interesting footnote, the castle that Eisenritter used as their base of operations 250 years ago just so happens to be only a hop skip and a jump away from Lara's home in Legrand. Indeed, it's known as Loingren Castle. I can't even pronounce it myself. It's a beautiful old building situated on the shore of Lake Ebel, Ebel to the west of Legrand. Oh, you've mentioned that before. Does anyone live there now? No, due to dangerous terrain there, no one goes near it. These days, it exists simply as a relic of a bygone age. The Arside family is responsible for the care and maintenance of the castle, though, really, only minimal work is done. Speaking of the Arside house, was it one of your ancestors, the e Eisenritter's second in command? Indeed, the Lance Maiden's most trusted assistant and confidant, from what I understand. The Sandlot family line ended with the death of the Lance Maiden. And it's partly because of that that the Arsid family mourns her death each year. I see. Oh, what a fascinating story. Lagram, huh? Never had a mission there, so I've never been able to go. Maybe I should have stopped by when I went to Berea Heart a while back. He's already asleep. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Do you think she'd at least try to conceal the fact that she gets sent all over the country on secret missions? I know, she totally just let it slip that she was doing something in Berea Heart too. Well, I suppose it's better than her being all distant and cagey around us. That's true, Raina. <laughs> AP increased by one. I didn't even do anything, I just read shit. Oh, maybe because I got that answer right. I don't know how. I guessed, guys. Total guess. I, there was no skill at all here. Okay, so tomorrow's a free day, which means that next Wednesday you'll have your usual practical exam. You'd better all bring your A-game. Oh, Milliam and Crow, a few must-have instructional materials you guys are going to need as part of the Class 7 finally showed up. I'll hand that stuff off to you once you're done here, so I want you to come with me to the faculty lounge. Righto? Man, what a drag. Alright, home moves out for the day. Flee! Flee while you can! Machius, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. <laughs> I want to see everyone do that. <laughs> Just one time. Guess that's too much to program into the game. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, I don't think we have to be on our guard around her at least. Same. Though I'd rather she kept that, she, that giant silver thing of hers hidden. I think I read that wrong. I don't think she's a bad girl. I was taking a nap in the court courtyard yesterday and she came and fell asleep next to me. What does that have to do with whether or not she's trustworthy? Hehe, <laughs> they look like a couple of kittens all curled up together. Their personalities may be worlds apart, but they're both rather cat-like in their own ways. She can't be more than 12 or 13, still practically a child. Yeah, you're right. She's so chipper all the time that it's hard to really be cold towards her. Yeah, I don't think I could bring myself to spurn her. She's got this natural charm, I think. Be that as it may, her presence here reeks of blood and iron, if you take my meaning. Well, it certainly seems that way. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. Great. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. So is that so, that's what he meant by that? Okay. It's hard to believe a girl like that could be an agent of the intelligence division. 
but just going off what happened in Nord, there's not much that would make me doubt it now. And then there's that thing, Er... er Egetlum, that's always with her. She calls it Lammy, but aside from its name, you don't really know anything about it. It seems to be made from some strange material with both metallic and ceramic properties, hard but pliable. Agreed. It doesn't look like anything you could make even with the most cutting-edge orbital technology. When I touched it, it felt really nice and cold. Wow, so you actually touched it? It hasn't escaped my notice that it seems strikingly similar to the combat shells we fight in our practical exams. Yes, it does! I think it's safe to assume that they share some kind of common origin. Yeah, the instructor said she was forced to accept it. Though, in a sense, Millium was forced on us too. Hmm. You're welcome to think what you will, but I don't trust her. Of course you don't use this. Either way, she's technically our classmate now, like it or not. It may be a little early to tell whether we can trust her as a friend, but we should be able to figure out pretty quickly whether we can count on her as a member of Class 7. Ah. Uh, well, that's a logical way of breaking it down, at least. You're right. It's still pretty early to make sweeping judgments. Knowing her background would be great, but what's really important is whether we can count on her in a fight. Agreed. As students of a military academy, that's probably the most important issue. We'll have to wait and see. Well, well, considering we're living in the same dormitory, it'd be good if we all got along. Yeah, I wouldn't want her to think we're trying to make her feel unwelcome either. And then there's Crow. What's he like, Rain? You seem like you get along with him pretty well. I don't know if I'd put it quite like that. If I had to say, I'd describe him as a capricious gambling addict, way too prone to ante up for every hand. <laughs> um, Adios, help us. He sounds like the kind of miscreant who would be better off... <laughs> like the kind of miscreant one would be better off avoiding. You can count on him when the chips are down, though. He really helped me out last month when Elise went into the old schoolhouse. He's good in a fight and pretty handy with his Arcus, too. Hmm... Maybe we're worrying over nothing, then. Still, I'm not really sure how to connect with him, you know? <sighs> well, at least we're in separate dorms for the time being. We'll just have to see how things go. Why are we in separate dorms? <laughs> what? Ah, I like this music! Alright, so what I was about to say about there being six other games prior to this, I'm not- I didn't look them up because whenever you start looking up shit about the game, it tells you things, and I don't want to get spoiled. Google just wants to tell you everything. Like, top result is spoiler or something. So I'm just going to assume that they're probably, um, older games, right? Okay, I guess it's not really an assumption. I guess they would have to be older games. But they're probably on older, um, hmm. game systems with less graphics, and they're probably just not as good. Like. If those games, if if the last six games are better than this game, then they're doing something wrong. Like generally, like when, when I'm writing a story and I've and I've been writing it for years and years, but then I decide I'm gonna st not restart it, but make write write this story a starting point for people. It's going to be better than my other ones, and like it's gonna be better than my other ones. Is it's gonna like it's gonna um allude to my older stories but it will be better because i have thought of a better idea like if it's not getting better then it's 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 a <laughs> shitty series <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry you know what i will play this game right and continue playing the next and the next game and then if i ever happen to finish this shit if i'm like i'm curious about what those last six games were maybe but it's probably I'll probably be disappointed. Like I'll probably I don't know. I don't know. If, I mean, they could still be, they're probably good games, but it'll probably be like yeah, but the battle system isn't as good. Yeah, but you know, it's a little tedious. They clean things up here. In older JRPGs, good god. Oh my god, you just need a lot more patience for older JRPG games. It's worse. It's worse than this shit. There's so many good points in this game that I can't imagine Hello? that that would be the case. Speaking. Oh, sorry. I can't imagine that that would be the case in all the all the older games. Hello, Reen Swords. You speak. Oh shit, he just said that. Oh, hi there, Reen. Now that is Toa. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be better. 
best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing. I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? That'd be great. Thanks. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late. Oh, that's cool. We're just calling people up. God, there's so I gotta talk to everybody, guys. I gotta do it. I can't just not do it. What the hell? So it's Colette. <laughs> it sure is quiet around the academy when the nobles are away. But I'm so jealous. I wish the rest of us could go home for a month. I'd be able to beg my parents to take me shopping all the time. Your poor, poor parents. The nobles are all so lucky. I haven't been to my local shops in forever. I miss all of them. That was the least ditzy that Colette has sounded. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna talk to everybody on this floor. And then I'm gonna call it a day here. Or maybe talk some more to, to my peeps out there. Bruh. Class seven's a whole lot livelier these days, isn't it? Even putting Curl aside, I never would have expected some girl we met at Nord would become our classmate. Life is full of surprises. It feels like they've already become part of the fabric of our class, too. Definitely. I don't think we should have had any trouble getting along with them. Well, for now at least. You two seem like responsible adults than any of us. More like... <laughs> Instructor Sarah included. You think you can look after Milliam? Not a problem. We're all classmates after all. Helping each other out is what we do. Damn. More responsible than Instructor Sarah. Okay. Okay. Rain, Jesus Christ. Crow should theoretically be able to take care of himself, but maybe we should ask Milliam how she's doing with the classes. I worry that some of the material might be a bit on the difficult side for her, so we should all try to help her out. So she's probably younger than everybody here, then that our, our get limb of hers is a real mystery though, isn't it? I'm really curious about how it works, and I don't really know how to fucking pronounce it, so I, that's even more of a mystery to me. <laughs> I heard my arm pretty bad last month, so I'm not going to be able to play in the concert tomorrow. I'll just have to leave it in the hands of Elliot and the others. That might be what was the emergency last time when I was running around to catch um, uh, his sister. I'm pretty frustrated with myself, but all I can do now is help them out with wh whatever they need. I might not be able to play, but I can still help everyone out. I'm pretty annoyed with myself, but I'll do what I can. It's a bit scary. It's a bit scary that we're going to have to play without Habel. Even so, I want to give him a performance he can be proud of. If Habel can't play, there's only one thing we can do. Put on a show that'll blow his socks off. Okay. <laughs> Originally, Habel was going to be our lead violinist now, though I'm on the hook for it. I was worried at first, but since it was so out of the blue, but things seem to be shaping up nicely now. You know, I had my doubts at first, but now I feel like I made the right decision in choosing this academy, and one, and one way I should know for sure is if I can help this performance go off without a hitch. That makes me glad to hear. I'll be cheering you on. Cute. All right. We'll be setting up a piano in the church on the day of the concert. This is going to be a fantastic concert. Everyone's been practicing really hard. I'm hoping all of our hard work will be shined through in our performance. But more importantly, I hope everyone enjoys it. No mention of Alan there. Wonder how that relationship's working out. <laughs> Maybe it's not working out. <laughs> My father was persistent in his attempts to convince me to return home. He said that as the daughter of Count Alf Alfheim, I'll have studies, I'll have duties to attend to. I, in turn, explained to him that as an instructor, my highest priority is my devotion to my students. I probably won't be able to be quite so selfish once I marry. Wait a minute, the Alfheim family is one of the best known families in the, in the southern province. I guess instructor Mary has more to worry about than I thought. Between teaching classes and acting as an advisor for three clubs, there's simply no time for me to return home. The Wind Orchestra is performing tomorrow, too. The life of an instructor is a fulfilling one indeed. I don't know what the theme is. Margarita has gone home for summer vacation. I never realized just how quiet this club is without her. It would be so nice to get some new members. It would be nice to have some new members join our club. Given that it's already August though, it's rather unlikely. Ah, uh, maybe Nilia might join. Maybe fucking Crow might join. Never know. Prob Crow's not joining this shit. <laughs> He's not coming in. To, to join any club, really, like, I can't imagine. Her painting has really been improving, Gaius. Meanwhile, I've hardly gotten any better. 
It all is all thanks to you and Clara. You guided me along a path I never would have found my way through on my own, and I couldn't be more thankful. Oh, please, it all comes down to you working harder than anyone else. Still, Clara's been going full bore for a while now. She's just going to collapse at some point, isn't she? Yeah, she is. I'm, I can't wait to see it. Maybe it'll teach her to... Yeah, I don't know. Actually teach the fucking class. <laughs> Lind and I have really developed our skills by learning from Clara's devotion to the arts. If I've improved at all since arriving at Thoris, I owe it all to this club. Ultimately, I'm glad I joined. Alright then. <laughs> I've been in top form lately. I might have been in a slump last month, but now I'm back and better than ever. I'll use some momentum to for my greatest work yet. You still haven't finished the damn horse you've been working on forever. Like, it doesn't look like you got much further there either. Good god. Alright, so who's the next person? Okay. Alright, so I think I did this whole floor. So, I think I will stop it here for now. Uh, it's been fucking 30 minutes of cutscenes and everything. Alright, yeah. I don't want to come off as I know the last six games was shitty. No, they're probably... They're probably... I'm basing those off of me playing partway through this game. And it, this game has been fucking wonderful, so there's no reason why the last six games wouldn't also be good, too. But... And, and since I've only played one game, I don't know if their battle systems change um, each time, each iteration. Some games do that. Um, Final Fantasy does that. Um, Dino Saga did that. And Dino Saga was, is more like this game because it's a continuing plot. And it, it gets more and more expansive with each game. But they kind of run out of funding and kind of smushed everything into the last game, but, uh... <laughs> barring that, like, each game had a whole new battle system, baby. And now that I keep thinking about... Just because someone commented and said there's six other games now, I'm trying to come up with reasons why I shouldn't... Shouldn't play them, but... My curiosity has been piqued, actually, and I do want to see them. <laughs> but it may turn out being, like, Final Fantasy 1. Like, it's a grid, and... We're moving grids, moving shit around. Um, I don't know. And now it makes more sense why this game is like there's so much background. I'd be curious to know if the stuff that we're, that we're learning in history class, if that's not telling you shit that happened. Like if you were if you were like a longtime fan and you start playing this, and um, they're like, oh yeah, that happened in Liberal, mm. or oh yeah, Dracos or the Maidens, like that question they gave me. Might have you might have only known the answer if you played the other games, and so that means this game. If that's true, that means this game is rewarding those who have played the older games, giving you extra AP. Does everyone have their fucking S move? Let's see. She doesn't. So I guess we're waiting for her because I think she's the only one. Yep. All right, everyone. I think I'll call it a day. So as always, can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye.